I wasn't planning on recording anything today, but I had to say this because I've been up since about 2 a.m. and I think this may help you. So many times we pray and we do our best to draw close to God and we still don't see the results we're looking for because our eyes are always right here. You know, we're looking up to God, right? Asking for help. And then we're looking at our results. You know the part that we often forget outside of the, the what I'll call spiritual or personal development? We forget the professional development, baby. The mindset. This is where we need to start. Let me rephrase that. We start with God, just to be clear. This is where we need to go next. The mindset. What is the information you're bringing in? You know, I won't go into the difference between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind, but I'll just give you a five second version. What you bring in, you know, that information, whether it's a mentor you have or a book you're reading or whatever it is, that greatly impacts how you feel, like your emotions, which impacts your behavior, which impacts your actions, which impacts your results. So that's why we never start here with the results. We always start here in the mindset. You know, who am I? Who does God say I am? Then who are you surrounding yourself around? Like what books are you reading? What information are you bringing in so that you can begin to feel and have those emotions, you know, about, man, I can accomplish this. I can do this because that's going to impact the behaviors and the actions, which brings you the results you're looking for. So I want to give you a gentle challenge to start putting some healthy routines in place, some healthy guidelines. If you don't have anyone in your life, I have a mentorship program, but you don't have to get into mind, find one. Get yourself in a good mentorship program or get some good books to read. Maybe go to um, YouTube or someplace, find some good videos to watch. Start feeding yourself what you need to know about mindset changes, professional development. Begin to put some of those routines and habits in place. Now, when you combine that with that powerful relationship with God, you are unstoppable. None's going to be able to stop you, baby. Okay. I love you all. I'll talk to you soon.